my expertise and specialty are uh, building and designing very tiny robots uh, uh, from millimeter scale down to micron scale uh, to operate inside the human body and many other different applications. Robots are amazing because it's something that you need to design uh, from even sometimes and most is scratch and then you need to build it and it should work. So in that sense it's a great challenge and also it brings up a lot of different components of creativity coming from the concept development to build these things because these are very tiny robots that you cannot build with conventional systems or methods and eventually also they should operate and do the function that you like to achieve. Uh, in that sense my approach has been to look at nature and observe how biological systems can operate in such tiny tiny scale and learn from them and then build robots that can do the similar principles but of course uh, they are built with more synthetic technologies rather than biological technologies. I have a lot of different societal impact uh, goals myself. Uh, of course uh, these tiny robots for medical applications hopefully will rever revolutionize uh, healthcare so that we will have uh, very non-invasive tiny robots inside the human body to observe and diagnose and even treat diseases much earlier than what we can do right now and much uh, less painful. And also these tiny robots for the sense of, uh, in the sense of environment, uh, we can put them into environmental areas, they can observe toxic or pathogenic uh, you know, issues, they can also respond to such issues so they can monitor environment and, and help us uh, to make sure that everything is clean and doing well. So I have a lot of tiny robots that can do inspection around, monitor uh, toxicity in the environment so that um, uh, it makes, they make sure that they are, we are safe and also they can help for cleaning when needed. So I'd, I'd like to really see um, very, very tiny of these, ro the, one of these tiny robots inside human body operating all the time safely and uh, with real medical function. Uh, because these are really challenging topics that will take tens of years for us to really uh, achieve them in the sense of functions but also safety and all the other issues. Uh, I really like to see them uh, being very useful inside the human body and help us that, uh, that we don't have right now as a technology in the sense of medical technology.